wonderfully mowed path is maintained by a couple neighbors. Bob Scott is one of the folks that comes out regularly to mow this path so that we can walk on it comfortably. That used to be completely impassable, like what we see here to the left, but we had some volunteers come in and take out the invasive species like kudzu and privet. Um, and it creates this really lovely place to sit and enjoy some, uh, some wildlife. We have seen some otters along the North Fork. Um, and down at the confluence we've seen a couple of fish and uh, different species of birds out here. This is a wonderful bird habitat. As we clear out the invasive species, we've got to be really mindful not to clear out all the, uh, all the vegetation along the bank. The root systems really hold the bank together. So not all of the trees that get planted and donated survive, but we've had a really high success rate. Uh, higher than expected for what, what survives after planting. So here's where we've replanted some chestnuts. Um, last summer some chestnuts were stolen and we've had a lot of support to get some more chestnuts put back in. The Northwood Garden Club has been very helpful. We've worked with Morningside Elementary School to teach the kids about how to plant them, what native chestnuts are, the history of chestnuts in the, in the area so that they can come out and watch their own chestnuts grow as they grow up. up on the 400 overpass. Uh, it's also the 85 Beaufort connector that we're going to walk under. It's one of the coolest places I think on the trail uh, because it's, it's very urban. You've got all this infrastructure around you but you're still outside. So just a half a mile uh, down the trail from the Cedar Chase condos is where we get to the confluence of the North and South Fork of the Peachtree Creeks. We've got some geese here waiting on us. Adina Drive, which comes off of Piedmont and Tower Liquor, is on the other side of the North Fork branch of the Peachtree Creek. This is where the bridge will come in and enter into the Beltline. It'll be a connection to the Beltline and the Georgia 400 Trail. The Meadow Loop Trail, which is part of South Fork Conservancy, is upstream about a half mile on the other side. It's the river right side of the North Fork of the Peachtree Creek. So this bridge will allow us to connect to the Meadow Loop Trail and then to the Cheshire Farm Trail, as well as to Georgia 400 and to Beltline.